Hi, it's Sarah from Drone Minds. We're in London at SkyTech Event 2016, and we'd like to show you our highlights. I'm Ben from Drone Lab, and um, we're here today at SkyTech to um, just talk to people about mapping and surveying and um, look at our software and show people how they can use it. And it's basically um, a tool that allows drone operators to share their mapping data with their clients. So we basically have this problem in the drone industry where you create very, very large data sets. So typically these files can be up to four gigabytes. And what a lot of drone operators used to do is they used to send out their data on a hard disk in the post. So what we did was we built a, a web-based system that's all in the browser. Um, it's platform independent. It uses Amazon's cloud storage to basically host all the files. Um, we're working with some companies now that are generating terabytes of data when they fly their missions. So it's very difficult to distribute this. And a lot of the clients, the end users of the data, um, they won't have really, really powerful computers. So what do you do? So we, we basically created a system that's all browser-based, it's all Amazon, cloud, all Amazon cloud storage and powered by the cloud. Um, and it basically enables drone operators to share data very quickly with people who need to see it. So it's very slick, very fast, very easy to use. And it's something that we've been, you know, we're getting quite a lot of traction with it at the moment. We've got over 300 operators who use the site now. Um, we've got over 750 maps now as well. So it's, and it's from all different industries. We've got construction, agriculture, forestry, farming, um, literally. And it's, you know, it doesn't matter what an operator flies or what kind of software they process with. Basically, we've got, we're in a beta period at the moment, so you can sign up and use it for free. We will be introducing a subscription service like later in the year, but that's really based on the size of the operator, the size of the company, and the number of projects that they want to use on the system. But it's very, you know, it's very cost effective. And it's we also have an iPad application, and the iPad app is an offline app, so drone operators can basically go out to see new clients and they can showcase their work and um, they can actually carry a version of their portfolio around with them and they can demonstrate their capability as an operator which is quite unique we're the only we're the only ortho mosaic viewer on the app store at the moment um, so it's it's we were the first to market and so far we're the only one that's out there so it's, it's quite good <laughs> I'm from Quest UAV, a manufacturer of fixed wing uh, UAVs. Got various models for different purposes. The new product here is the Data Hawk. Um, this is an industrial grade compact mapper. Um, what we're looking for is a rapid response, uh, you know, get out there quickly, do a survey. It is still got a very high resolution uh, sensor in there. It's also going to be available with various other sensors. So at the moment we can do it with an RGB sensor, with the Megasense Red Edge Multispectral. Um, and we're looking to integrate things such as uh, thermal sensors and, and other sensors as, as the product develops. We are a Belgian-based company, Unifly. Uh, we made the product Skybridge, a software platform uh, made to integrate drones into the existing ATM network. So it means that you can fly drones uh, together with manned uh, aircraft. Um, we started up in 2015 in August. Uh, we are a rather young company. But the idea uh, we had is already since 2012. Uh, end of 2014, we have won uh, the Swim Masterclass uh, prize in the Cesar U competition uh, in uh, Europe. 81 companies uh, participated and we won the runner-up prize just behind Airbus, which was big news for a small company like ours. Um, the software uh, means that a drone user can easily um, make a reservation for his airspace. Where he wants to fly, he just sits behind his desk, he draws a map, and the system itself will tell him after validation process, look, you can fly over there, you cannot fly over there. So it's, it's a one-click system, it's easy for the drone user. He does need to know all the information or regulations you need to know for every uh, country. So uh, that's what we want to do. We want to help the drone users uh, so they can fly safely uh, without any uh, issues or problems. Uh, 
other uh, stakeholders can use the system as well. Then we look more to manufacturers, uh, the CAA, ANSPs can use the system, which is rather nice. They can do like a kind of inspection. Uh, because what we see now is that um, we don't have um, inspectors uh, walking around. We will have uh, police officers who need to enforce uh, the law and the regulations. And they don't know anything about aviation as well. So with uh, the app on their phone, they can easily check out if that drone is allowed to fly over there or not. And then they can do what they need to do. So this is a, also a nice feature. The uh, product is foreseen to launch at the end of February. Uh, then we will make all the prices available to, uh, to everybody because we want to go global. Um, so that's about, in a nutshell, what a Skybridge uh, is and does for the uh, drone user. We're here at SkyTech to demonstrate and, uh, and promote our new uh, PI Lightweight thermal imaging camera which is aimed at the uh, use on uh, UAVs um, for various applications. Uh, so what we have is a, a miniature lightweight camera uh, which is supplied with uh, a Linux based PC. Uh, the Linux PC uh, is the device which stores the data and does the processing of the thermal images uh, in flight. Um, and the idea is, is that we record the data in flight and then analyse afterwards uh, when we're back on the ground and post-analyse the data. Um, the unit itself is very light, it only weighs 380 grams collectively um, and is easily battery powered from the flight batteries on your UAV or drone um, and will give you good, uh, good life, it's not going not to reduce the flight time on, on your UAV uh, at all. Um, with the new system we can record uh, videos uh, up to 80 frames a second which means that we get very very good quality imaging um, and we now have a new VGA camera which will give us up to 640 by 480 pixel resolution and we, with that camera we can record up to 40 frames a second. Um, this is excellent uh, for, uh, in comparison to the competition uh, who are operating at much lower frame rates and suffer with uh, poorer quality imaging because of blurring and so on. Um, our system also incorporates uh, a free software package uh, and this is fully featured from the box. Um, so this is a video that we, store, uh, that, that we took um, of, a, of a building and a factory installation and the idea is, is that we record the data uh, on the UAV and then we can post-analyse the data once we're back in the office. So all the data on the screen is, is as if it was a live image, so every pixel has a temperature measurement. This isn't just a colour screen showing different, different colours. We can analyse this uh, to suit the application. Um, so, for example, we're measuring the, the, the crosshair in the centre is measuring the temperature up at the top right-hand screen. But we've also got a cursor here, and wherever we move the cursor is giving us a live temperature measurement on the screen. If I just come out of full screen mode, we can also show other data on the screen and analyse the data afterwards. So, for example, if we pause the video and we're looking at this, this window here, maybe we're analysing heat loss or insulation breakdown in a building, uh, energy recovery and so on. And here you can clearly see some people stood outside the building and they're showing very clearly. Um, so, in a search and rescue type application, maybe this would be useful because they, they, they stand out very clearly. Okay, so the uh, DJI Inspire 1 Pro system you see here um, is £3,699 with a single remote control system. The system you see here can also be retrofitted to the current generation of Inspire 1 platforms. So what that means, if you've got the X3 camera system, very similar to this camera you see on the DJI Osmo, you can retrofit the vibration absorption board, the extension landing gear and the X5 camera system for a little under £2,000 in total. So there is a future proof for these platforms and the fact that you buy it, further down the line there are upgrades, you're not losing out. You can upgrade that platform. At Heliguy, furthermore, we noticed DJI Mr. Beat. For first person view, the main pilot only has orientation from the X5 camera system. That can be a problem if you're using two operators. If you need that orientation, you'll need a forward-facing FPV camera. So we introduced this nose cone camera system with a 3D printed rear design box which houses a small battery, a small transmission system. This is then picked up on a built-in receiver monitor 
and that transmits the orientation of the aircraft. So the main pilot only needs to focus on going straight forward, they know exactly which way the craft is oriented at distance. The second pilot can then independently control this X5 camera gimbal. So really it's no longer a compromise. The smaller Phantom 3 systems are generally a one-man operation. These can now be two-man operation. It'll improve your risk assessment, make it safer to fly, and also give you better footage. So really it's a win-win situation with these platforms. Yeah.